Okay, folks, here we are at the final stage of the liquid cooling Xbox 360 project, uh, version 2.5. And uh, this is it. This is the complete working Xbox 360. Fully liquid cooled. It's, it's turned off and it's pretty dark right now because, of course, it's going to be pretty bright real soon. But uh, anyway, this is pretty much showing it off as it is in the off position. Uh, there'll be four of this Xbox now. A little bit of a history. This Xbox was a um, an arcade, a regular arcade, plain white. Uh, we went ahead and we painted it stealth black, as you can see. And uh, yes, I'm not too good with painting the buttons, so I left it default. Now, uh, custom plexiglass windows, custom square cut, rectangular, and a uh, little spot for the fill, for fill port up there. Um, we got the reservoir, we got the LED. But let's skip all that and let's just turn it on real quick for you guys. All right. This is the drain port. Okay, that's the LED initiating. Right now, the uh, temperature, let's see if it gives it to us. Okay. Should be, well, I just had it on a couple of minutes ago, so it's pretty much cooling down right now. And uh, the uh, CPU is uh, 32 degrees, the water is 39 degrees, and the GPU is 38 degrees. Turned off right now. Let's turn it on. There it is, all turned on, full liquid cool, custom cut DVD drive with red LED, red system LED, and uh, Swift Tech Aqua Bay sitting there, holding, uh, acting as a water reservoir, UV purple, lights in the front, custom red, you get a controller real quick and show off what that looks like with UV purple rings, full stealth black custom paint. So you can see the hoses, liquid cooling is red, giving that UV red flow color. Fans are red, 80 millimeter, 2000 RPMs, blowing air out. Radiator is a uh, Danger Den micro twin 80 millimeter. Still using the Xbox 360 system fans to provide air intake to compensate for the amount of air coming out. So cold air coming in, hot air going out through here. The uh, system temperature LED readout also gives a uh, fan speed, what that is like. We'll go ahead and eject the game, see if we can get some light in here. Okay, and there it is, turned on, fully works. This is the uh, Jasper chipset model. There's a little bit more light for you guys to see. So here's the fill port, over there is the drain port in case the uh, user wants to change his, uh, his entire liquid cooling or replace the liquid cooling. You know, usually with time, uh, liquid tends to evaporate and stuff like that. You always got to keep uh, filling it. Or if he wants to go ahead and replace it, he has both fill and drain valves, all internal, thermal take pump right there, and uh, the aqua bay, the radiator, the fans, all that fun stuff is made by me.
everything works nice and smooth. Let's uh, play around with the temperature real quick and just show the uh, Fahrenheit of what 35 is. So the C GPU is 98.6, CPU is 95 degrees Fahrenheit, and the actual water is running a little bit over 105. Fans, two fans on the outside running at about 1800 RPMs, and the pump is running at uh, 20 cents. That's pretty good. There you have it. Full custom Xbox 360 liquid cooled. One of a kind. Thanks for watching.